Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> hey everyone, I'm your professional protagonist and welcome to Hell Yeah Gaming reacting to the mind-blowingly cool and awesome final trailer for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Oh my god. So like before I was I was gonna wait to, to do like a, maybe a live reaction sort of thing, but then I was like, no, I don't want to wait that long to watch the trailer because then things are going to be plastered everywhere. It's going to get spoiled for me. So I watched it, you know, myself, and I was thinking like, you know, hey, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do like, you know, an analysis type thing, but the, um, I'm just going to be super, super busy, which means I wouldn't be able to actually get it out. So, you know, you got me here in the car during my lunch break at work. Okay. Oh my God. So first of all, rehydrated Ganondorf, right? <laughs> oh, you are witnessing. <laughs> oh, what's God? What was not not the rebirth because he said the birth of his kingdom was what was gonna uh or his world the first part you're witnessing the oh my god i should have written some of this stuff down oh god but th that line was so freaking good we stand the once and future king here <laughs> i am i am so excited i'm more excited than i have ever been even oh after that like very first teaser and everything this is what I've been waiting for to get my already like you know admittedly very biased uh like excitement up to a whole nother level it is crazy the kinds of things that we have seen in this trailer and I know I kind of skipped over the last trailer didn't really say anything do anything about that but you know with uh, the different abilities that we we now know about learned like combining and the building and everything pretty awesome in this one hey we got sword shield <laughs> it's like kind of a blink and you'll miss it you might not have seen it uh link against one of the little golems he had a shield stuck to his sword <laughs> sword shield <laughs> So I don't know what exactly that's supposed to accomplish. Like, spear on a stick, I get it. Now your reach is like so long, you no one's gonna come at you. You get you got the, the, the keys eyeball on the arrow, it d d goes a homing attack, which by the way, like the re I don't know why that works. That's like some fifth grade, or fifth grader, that's like some five, fifth, five year old logic. Put an eyeball on the arrow and it's gonna track down the, like, you could see, you could see that there's like a loose association there, but uh, the, the, we're missing some steps in the logic. <laughs> uh, but I love that so much. Um, but yeah, it's sword, sword shield, shield sword. No idea what that's supposed to accomplish, but you know, sticking a mushroom onto a shield to block with is going to release a big puff of smoke. So who knows what sword shield may accomplish? Increase the durability of the sword so it lasts a lot longer, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, and I'm excited to find out. Just like, I'm really excited to find out uh, about these characters that popped up in there. One looks like some kind of uh, corrupted Sheikah. I, what's up with this person? Another one that looks like, uh, like a more a darker, more tan-skinned Zelda with uh, darker features in general, some uh, some tattoo stuff going on. It, you know, going back along with some of my previous theory ideas that I've tossed out there, maybe this is Zelda reascending to her position as Hylia, uh, is what I'm thinking, probably, maybe. Um, the uh the fact that zelda seems to be like in in the sky on a sky island at some point saying link come find me uh maybe we have some time shenanigans going on because you know zelda loves its time shenanigans <laughs> it's hard hard to get away from time shenanigans in the legend of zelda that's why the, the timeline's so freaking complicated and makes no sense <laughs> but i am uh, like maybe maybe she's like uh, seeding out upgrades for you. Uh, like she's holding like what the one of those magatama shaped, you know, tears the tears of the kingdom. And uh, just uh, I I saw uh, 
bandit gaming uh, live stream of it uh, while I was, you know, sitting at my desk working, and he he noticed that the symbol on that little tear that Zelda's holding is the same as the symbol for uh, one of Link's abilities. So I am thinking that uh, maybe as as she falls in and like the the the, the hole, because we've seen her falling in the hole like 50 times by now. This time there's like a little glow around her, and it cuts off like it, as it looks like the glow is about to explode out. Maybe that's you know, like a, a teleport or a time shift or something to save her from plummeting to certain death. But I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, to go, go along with that, maybe the tears are power-ups that she's like seeding into uh, different sky islands that Link finds to give himself, like either give himself new abilities or to power up existing abilities. Uh, he definitely still has to, uh, you know, have that kind of progression because we're, we're back to, you know, three hearts and everything. I wonder if he still has or will re-unlock whatever the abilities of the other champions uh, Mifa's Grace and Urbosa's Fury and all those, which would be really cool. But speaking of the champions, their descendants slash inheritors are right here side by side with Link fighting alongside him, which is beautiful, beautiful. If the, if the theme of Breath of the Wild was solitude, then, you know, we, here we see rebuilding like we link seems to be like getting armies together or at least a militia some kind of fighting force uh shout out to Buckethead, <laughs> that, uh, that guy in the group shot with the bucket uh he knows what's up he's he's like I i'm doing whatever i can to protect myself good on you Buckethead. and his allies there you know they're saying like you know you're not alone so there's a very distinct you know division between Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom here, that I am loving, especially because all of the, uh, all, all of the descendants are really cool. Uh, we don't see Unobo in here, Daruk's descendant, so maybe he's, because he's kind of a coward, he's not showing up for whatever reason, uh, or that they just didn't feel like putting him in any of it, I don't know, that's, that's a weird, uh, exclusion but the best one, of course, Prince Sidon. Oh, fish boyfriend. I love him so much. <laughs> Sidon with his trident doing flirt. <laughs> oh, so good. And, and, and with our, with our, our partners, with our buddies, some, some other eagle-eyed people I've seen point out that they also have tears with them. Like Sidon had one like right here. Uh, Ganondorf actually had one in the, a brief shot surrounded by glowing energy uh, forehead situation. Uh, unless that was just the jewel he already had on his forehead. It's a little hard to tell on that one. I'm, I'm not totally sure about that one. I'll have to double check. But <clears throat> uh, Teba and his daughter had freaking tears as well, which is crazy uh and Reju Reju the child queen is is a bit grown up now and has got much stronger mastery over her lightning that she inherited from her bosa hell yes double sword flurries boom, boom, boom. oh my god i am mm. And then we got battle bots going on too. <laughs> Link with the like, construct constructing a giant mecha with his glue going after Bo uh, Bo Goblin like mobile tank. <laughs> Had a little rocket on there, uh, rocket arms. Which speaking of the rockets, hey, shooting straight up into the sky with a rocket on his arm. I think it was glued to a shield. I'm not. I, I'll again. That's like. I'd have to go through frame by frame, double check everything. This is just a immediate reaction right right afterwards. Uh, but who's who's the guy? Who's the guy talking to Zelda, saying that Link shall be our last defense? 
you know, put your faith in, in your chosen knight with his holy sword, blah, blah. Like, we just get a really quick chest shot, but Zelda's also kind of in the way. Who is this person? Who is this person? Um, I just... That's part, also part of what makes me think that maybe there's some timey-wimey shenanigans as well. Like, this person has instructed her to, like, seed the tears out into places that are going to rise into the sky. But uh, that's that's just, you know, an off-the-wall theory. I don't have any kind of hard evidence. It's That's just a thought. But, oh, oh my lord. Oh, so, so happy. All of the different things that we've seen in the sky, it's mind-boggling, like, big, like, there seem, there's a lot of anti-grab stuff going on, big, like, slow jumps between, you know, big gaps of platforms, floating liquid that Link can jump into that kind of makes me, like, reminds me a bit of, like, a Donkey Kong barrel cannon really you know jump into the barrel and then fire off somewhere we didn't see a fire link off anywhere just like link jumped into it but i can't imagine like where where else is he gonna go what else, what other purpose does it serve i i just feel like he's gonna like goo slingshot or something <laughs> is what i imagine uh, and see he's like then another moment he's, he's falling doing like a mission impossible <laughs> down a long corridor with lasers he's uh wearing like a flight suit or something he's, i mean there's we have all all kinds of costumes and clothes coming back as well very cool i like seeing him like twirling the uh the spear in his hands while riding on the horse <laughs> was like helicoptering that was just a, a really cool shot the, the him staring down in Cleok three-headed fly flaming dragon we've come a long ways from the nes days oh have we ever come a long ways wow that looks so awesome and i'm wondering if that's like a boss boss or if that's an overworld boss where there's going to be a bunch of gleox i don't know i just know that that looks freaking awesome and i want to see it one shot it looked like you know he he had glued something to an arrow it looked like a ruby which would turn it into a fire arrow and that's a very expensive arrow link you know, you can use those rubies to make, probably make more than one fire arrow, <laughs> unless it just unleashes a gigantic go f yourself fire bomb <laughs> upon impact. Like one one ruby can either make ten fire arrows or glue it to one arrow, let it rip, and watch the world burn. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm getting in the mindset of a villain now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And then, of course, Ganondorf, the official art that they released alongside our final trailer. Oh, my God. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, there's a reason I introduced this video with, oh, no, he's hot. Because <laughs> you need to get a SpongeBob meme into everything. But it is, oh, Oh my gosh, he just looks so good. And he is not playing around. Love seeing flowing, flaming hair as he's like standing in front of the blood moon, larger than it's ever been and just so imposing. Ganondorf is my, my all time favorite video game character. I just am so happy to see this and see him represented with an actual personality again. Like. I, I I always prefer Ganondorf to Demon King Ganon in general, but you know I'm I'm totally happy just to have him at all, as long as he has a personality. And obviously, Calamity Ganon was a wee, wee bit lacking in in the personality department. <laughs> now he's he is back, he is ready, and. Oh boy, we st we stand this king. Yes, we do. I bow down to you, at least until a little elf twink <laughs> beats his ass. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! And I'm still holding out for playable Zelda. I'm still holding out for that. I'm I'm actually kind of hoping that like the thought of Zelda is like delivering these tears and seeding them into the areas where Link's gonna need to find them, like. 
also plays into playable Zelda. Like, <laughs> I just feel like that. Also, also, oh God, like, was that like a, a, a giant ice worm dragon thing like erupting from the desert floor, the sands? What? That thing looked like it's something more out of Dark Souls and was crazy creepy and loved it. Loved it. Super creepy and awesome. But more, more so than that, I, I just derailed myself with, with the thought of that because I had another thought I wanted to say when I was like, oh, oh, it was actually a completely different thought. And then that one just interjected itself. <laughs> Oh, the Adderall shortage has been really messing with me and my ADHD. It's been destroying me. Absolutely destroying me. That aside, uh, God, what was this? What was the thought? I just, I, oh, it was like the most important one. It was like the most important thought I've had this whole time. And I cannot remember it. Um... I'm, I'm sorry. I wish if I wish I could remember it, but thank you all so much for joining me. Obviously, I'm super excited. Please let me know how excited you are, or if, whether you are or are not. Um, now I remember dungeons. It looks like it looks like just from from some scenery that we're going to have actual proper dungeons that are different with different themes and not just variations on a uh, shrine or beast. And I'm very excited. Like, that wasn't... I wouldn't say, like, that was super straight up confirmed. But just from what I could glean, what it looked like from different environments, I feel like we're returning to actual dungeons. That makes me so happy. And I really hope that we have, you know, much more inspired bosses as well. Anyway, anyone who was saying that this looked like it was just gonna be DLC, that uh, they... El brought elevated into like so being sold as its separate game uh you obviously have no ground to stand on at this point <laughs> but, but i understand the uh pessimism that 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 idea would spring from anyway yes let me know how you feel let me know your own thoughts if you have theories your favorite part of this trailer and i will see you on you know actually i won't see you on may 12th because i will be playing tears of the kingdom <laughs> and no one can stop me thank you all so much for joining have a fantastic rest of your day and obviously this trailer obviously this trailer deserves itself a great big hell yeah